Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number one in the Business Logic Vulnerabilities module titled Excessive Trust in Client Side Controls. All right, let's get started. This lab doesn't adequately validate user input. You can exploit a logic flaw in its purchasing workflow to buy items for an unintended price. To solve the lab, buy a lightweight leather jacket. You can log into your own account using the following credentials, and they gave us um, user credentials. All right, so the goal over here is to log in as this user and then attempt to buy this specific item over here. So it's called lightweight leather jacket. And the idea is to buy it for a price that is less than the price listed on the website. So for an unintended price, and the way we're going to do that is by exploiting a logic flaw. All right, let's access the lab. Now notice over here, this is the built-in browser in Burp. And so all my requests are already going through my Burp proxy. All right, the first thing we're going to do is log into the account that we were given. And the password was Peter, hit login. And then we're going to go to home and look for the item that we need to purchase. So notice over here, the credit that we have is $100 and the item that we want to purchase costs $1,337. And so we need to be able to exploit some kind of vulnerability in the application to reduce the price of this item to $100 or less so that we could afford it. All right, so let's click on view details and analyze the requests that are being sent in Burp. So if we click add to cart, it's a post request to the application. So let's send that to repeater. And then let's go to card over here and attempt to buy the item. So again, over here, it costs $1,337, whereas we only have $100. So I'm going to click on place order and make note of the request over here. So again, it's a post request. So I'm going to send this to repeater. And you could see over here, it says not enough store credit for this purchase. Okay, so let's look at the request that we just sent to repeater. The first one was when we add an item to the cart. And then the second one was when we actually try to buy the item. Now, if there is a flaw in the application, it would have to come from the client side. And so it would be parameters that are being sent to the server side that have that flaw in them. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check both requests to see if there are any parameters that I could potentially manipulate and be able to buy the item for less than what it is listed in the application. So if we look at the checkout one over here, you could see it only takes an SCSRF parameter, which comes from the slash cart endpoint. So that's not something that will be useful to me because it doesn't change the price of the item. So my guess is that the vulnerability is in the slash cart endpoint. So again, this is a post request and over here, you could see it takes in a few parameters and one of them is the price of the item. So over here, you've got uh, 133700 and that represents um, $1,337. So let's hit send just one more time and see what happens. So it's a 302 redirect and you could see over here now we've got two items in our card. So let's remove them. and now my cart is empty. So uh, what I'm gonna first try is reduce the price to zero dollars. So the idea over here is if this specific parameter is only validated on the client side and not on the server side, then I should be able to theoretically change it to any number that I want. And this is a vulnerability that I see quite often in applications. And so I'm gonna hit send. And it is a 302 redirect, so that's already a good indication that it might have worked. Hit enter. And it still says my cart is empty, so that did not work. Another thing that you could try is maybe there is some kind of validation in the back end that doesn't accept a price of zero. So maybe the price has to be bigger than zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to one and hit send. It's still a 302. Again, not sure if it worked. Let's reload our cart. And here we go, it did work. So now it costs one cent, which we can afford because we have store credit. So that's essentially the vulnerability in the application. 
the fact that um, there is no server-side validation on client-supplied input. In this case, it's the price parameter in the application. So let's click on place order. And it says, congratulations, you solved the lab. All right, so we successfully completed the exercise by exploiting the vulnerability manually. Now let's script it in Python. If you would like to see a detailed version of the video where we first exploit the vulnerability manually and then script it in Python, check out the video linked on the screen. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.